This is what the Zionists are worried about. They're not worried about who comes to power in November between Kamala and Trump. They're worried about the manner in which one of them loses. They're worried about the manner in which incumbents lose. They are convinced that Kamala and Trump will be pro-Israel, but they are worried that if Harris loses because she supported Zionism, it, then the mantra in American politics, which until now has been support Zionism, you win, that equation flips completely on its head. It now becomes support Zionism, you lose because you provoke people into coming out and voting specifically to topple you, not to deliver a candidate to power, just simply to topple you because they're so angry at the genocide. This is what the Zionists are spending so much money on. Mm -hmm. The Zionists are saying this is an existential crisis to our lobbying power. Our lobbying power rests, the Zionist says, our lobbying power rests on the belief that we are invincible. The Zionists don't challenge Rashida in her state. They don't challenge Ilhan in her state. Why? Because they fear losing. Because if they lose, they lose the 100% track record. They rely on the 100% track record. This is the first time in American history that that 100% track record is now under threat precisely because the election is so tight and precisely because given the election is so tight, it's those Muslim populations in those swing states plus those non-Muslims who have become pro-Palestinian. These people who may only number 100,000 or less have the ability to swing Michigan or the in one way. That doesn't mean they vote Trump, even if they vote third party, and then we'll probably get into that later I'm on. Doing, yeah. But this is the crux of the issue, and I finish on this point. Yeah. It's not about who comes to power in November. It's about how people lose in November in both the presidential and in the subsequent congressional. Mm. If, if the Zionists have to choose between Trump and Harris, if Harris is going to lose because she supported the Zionists, the Zionists will back Harris. Right. If an incumbent is going to lose because they support the Zionism, the Zionists will support them to protect the 100% track record. Mm. And this is why the choice between the Muslims in November, to put it quite bluntly, is not between Kamala Harris or Donald Trump, or even between the third party candidates. It's between cracking and breaking the invincibility of the Zionist lobby or rescuing it under some false delusion that somehow it will make things better. The Zionists are panicking and scrambling and hoping that these minority groups don't move. And this is why we say don't rescue Zionism in November. The Zionists are terrified. Their worst case scenario is Harris loses because she supported Zionism. Yeah. That incumbents lose because they supported Zionism. Because even if they give every support for Israel in the next four years, every representative between now and in two years in the congressionals will say, did you see how a sitting US president lost because she supported Zionism? Guys, we need to start talking to these other people who demonstrated a power that they can punish, a power so great that the millions of the APAC lobby could not prevent the punishment.